evening, everyone. Welcome to this Linear Schools Board of Education meeting of May 14, 2019. I stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. This is politics. Pledge of Allegiance. To the flag of the United States of America. They are politics. It's, you are promoting politics. This is a political game. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And I'm a nurse. When children are born, we tell them it's a boy and a girl. And I think it should be God created. I'm one of the parents that's not in favor of this book, I Am Jazz, uh, being included in our school's library. Numerous research studies it's describe the differences. Let's finish this paragraph. It's way over. Sorry. The previous lading was before me, took about five minutes. The previous person before that took five minutes too, so oh. and at some point we have to about say, five minutes, sorry. It, I took five minutes? I think. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I Am Jazz is a picture book about a transgender girl and her realization that she identifies as a girl even though she was born with male biological parts. So in Celine, we actually had two readings of the I Am Jazz. There was a countywide event started by the Washtenaw Intermediate School District to create a local reading of this children's picture book. A couple of mayors were involved, some students, a doctor, so it was a read aloud of this picture book that was then played at community readings around the county. We had one at Liberty School on a Saturday. It was a fantastic event, you know, almost 100 people came. And then separately, the school showed a video of the reading during morning announcements. The reading that happened in the school unfortunately received some negative feedback. Many community members were unhappy with how the information was communicated, and then many also had a problem with the content of the book. In the meantime, the Board of Ed continues to have their, their public meetings twice a month, and some parents have come to express both support and, you know, I guess some unhappiness with the direction that the school district is taking. My name is Jay, uh, J-A-E, and I use he, him pronouns. My experience at Celine with my gender identity, it wasn't really great when I came out. I did get a lot of questions, and considering I was very open about being trans and being just myself, I would answer them. Considering I would talk to people about my experience, and people thought, that this was what trans people should do, and this was the ideal trans experience, that this is how trans people should act, and just kind of sacrifice our own comfort for them. And that kind of sucked, because I didn't realize it at first, and over time I did, but uh, like after I started realizing that people were bullying me more, and and not accepting me for like, as like just being a guy. They were just being like, oh, that's a trans kid. He's trans. He's not really a guy. She's like a, she's a girl, but a, but pretending to be a guy. And it was, it sucked. My name is Finn. My gender identity is non-binary and I use they, them pronouns. Personally, I know of a lot of people who have had experiences with homophobia, transphobia, people refusing to call them by their name, their pronouns, things like that. I haven't personally experienced that, but at the same time, I'm not super outward. I have never really felt a need to change my appearance, so I guess I don't have, like, quote unquote, the look. 
So I guess my overall impression of the student body is that, you know, there are definitely also a lot of students who are willing to learn and, um, you know, who are accepting to a point and, you know, a point where I'm happy, but there, there's enough students that I definitely feel uncomfortable, sometimes unsafe, just because you, I guess the big thing is you never really know who's, who is one of those students. My name is Az. I am a transgender non-binary person and I use he, him, and they, them. The general student body has been an interesting, complex one. There are plenty of students here that are extremely nice and will accept you the way you are and try their best to refer to you like by whatever pronouns you use. But after school one day, when the after school rush was coming down the stairs, someone laughed behind me, called me faggot, and pushed me down the stairs when they saw gay pins on my backpack. I had to take those off later because I was uh, such a nervous wreck that it would happen again. I just started using the male bathroom, even though it made me very nervous. And I felt like I would be attacked. And there's a stereotype that trans people go to the bathrooms to attack their students, which doesn't make sense because most of the time, at least in my, my experience, and I know other trans students here, I think a lot of us feel anxious about going to the bathroom here because we feel, or at least I know I feel very nervous going to the bathroom because I feel like if someone finds out about my existence of being a trans person in the bathroom, I feel like that puts me in a dangerous situation. The staff just kind of hopes that nothing will happen and they kind of hope that the students won't bother you and they hope that you will be left alone and you will leave other students alone. It's never, it's never a safe environment for trans people. Like a good majority of the people here don't truly accept trans people. And I don't think, I don't think it's truly safe for trans people here. I think that there is a lot of fear around the unknown and I think that that fear needs to be met with education. Um, once we understand something or see it or experience it, it's a little less frightening. Besides academic rigor, people's social and emotional well-being matter in their day-to-day -day lives and how they can succeed. And as a parent, and a volunteer, I feel that's important for me to attend meetings to make sure that I express how I'm invested in my students and the school district. Let the district know that you support them in the steps that they're taking and contribute in any way that you can to help with that. Elementary kids are incredibly fresh minds. Education is the most important thing that they can have and I think educating them on a subject like this especially since it's not something that needs to be erased I think it'd be incredibly beneficial for an early education about LGBTQ issues especially with the reading like I am jazz that was incredibly amazing that teachers were able to incorporate that into their curriculum understand that that's an issue that needs to be talked about. I think really the, the best thing to sort of help with you know the experiences with the students that I've described here is just to sort of work on you know education and just just sort of show that like in general working towards a more open-minded community would be really great.
It's okay to be trans, and they're not. They're not a monster, really. They're they're just they're just a human.